Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Marry My Husband episode 44. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of this episode. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. And for anyone out there who wants to have early access to all my content for the month of June and soon July, uh, it is available on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. And here you guys have access to everything. Uh, there's, they are all uncensored, unblurred. And there's no cat logo on there. So if that's something that's up your alley, it is available there. I will drop the link in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started. Warning, this episode contains strong language that may not be suitable for some readers. Chiwan pretended like she didn't want or need anything. But she always got everything that I wanted. I couldn't understand why. She was just an ugly, lanky kid with round glasses. When I found out that she was also being raised by a single parent. Scratch. Family member. Dad. He's really kind and is a great cook. Mom. Doesn't live with us. I was thrilled. <laughs> but the excitement didn't last long. Come over anytime. I'll make you a nice meal. Her circumstances were similar to mine. Please help yourself, Suman. And yet, I couldn't understand why she got to live a happy life with her dad. You useless brat! All you do is take and take! While I was stuck living a miserable life with my mom. It wasn't fair. Marry My Husband, Episode 44 Jiwan, why doesn't your mom live with you? Mm, I don't really know the details. The grown-ups told me that she moved out after meeting a man. Oh no! Don't you miss your mom? <laughs> I knew it. You're just like me. I'm okay. I have my grandma and my dad. And you, Suman. I also look at her photo sometimes. She's super pretty, isn't she? Oh, oh, <gasps> dun, dun. She's the woman. Wait, so don't tell me her dad ran away with Jiwan's mom. What? Who was with my dad in his car? <gasps> that Gank cheated on me with your father! Ugh! How can you eat ever seeing your father with another woman? I bet he did this because of you, because you always stay out late and get terrible grades. <laughs> if it's my fault that my that dad cheated, then it's Jiwon's fault that her mom cheated. <gasps> Which means Jiwon's the reason why I had to grow up getting beaten by my mom. <laughs> and why I've ended up in this mess after marrying Minwon. It's all your fault, Jiwon! Hey, where do you think you're going, Jiwon? Come back here, you bitch! Let's go, Hyun. Arrest her, not me! This is all her fault! Please, calm down, ma'am, or else we'll have to drag you to the station with us. No. I refuse to go with them. Wait! Please let me say goodbye to my mother-in-law and my husband. I think there's a misunderstanding. I can explain everything. Their coffins will be born out of the funeral home in the morning. Please allow me to stay here just for a few more hours. Once the funeral is over, I'll make my way to the police station. Mm. Promise us you'll get into the police car once the funeral service is over. We'll be keeping a close eye on you, so please alert us before going somewhere. All right, I'll, I'll do that. I don't think so. Goodbye, Suman. That's 
the last thing I have to say to you. I hope you will be punished for your crimes. So that means Jiwon doesn't really know what happened and why Sumin has so much grudge against her. So that she doesn't know that her her mom ran away with Sumin's dad. Wow. Damn it. They're watching me like hawks. What should I do? Um, officer? I haven't been to the restroom in hours. Do you mind if I take a quick restroom break? Oh, sure. Go ahead. I'll be standing outside. Okay. She won't probably call the police on me. I just know it. Again, blaming Jiwon. Like, this girl is so obsessed. Crap! How dare she do this to me? <laughs> what did I do so wrong? She is literally asking, what did she do so wrong? Girl, because you are continuing this evil path. Blaming other people. All because your mom abused you because of whatever your dad did. Like, yeah, first of all, you should realize like, realize that it's your dad's and your mom's fault here. They're the reason they put you in this issue. And it's never someone else. Like, Jiwon is just a third party. She's just a kid who didn't know any better. Like, how are you standing right here and, like, not realizing, like, you you did all this since, you know? I have to get out of here. There's no way I'm going to prison. She's dressed up as a cleaning maid. Ain't no way. Oh my gosh. What is she gonna do now? I'm worried about Suman. She looked really pale. Ugh, he's still obsessed with her. I got her something to drink from the convenience store, but I didn't get a chance to give it to her. Uh, huh? Who's that? Suman? <laughs> Jion uk oppa? What are you doing down here? Go on, you can tell me. I I'll tell you later. Don't tell anyone that Sumin is here, okay? Uh, Alright. Alright, I got you something from the convenience store. Here, have a sip. Oppa, could you give me something warm to drink instead? Uh, oh, sure. I'll go right now. We're here. I'll be back in just a minute. Take your time. Ugh. Everything he says is so cringe. What a loser. Why did he have to touch my hair? Ugh. This is my chance to get away. <laughs> Thanks for letting me borrow your car, Opa. Huh? Huh? Mr. You? It's J1. I'm about to be thrown in jail. And you're out here with the chairman's grandson? Damn you, J1. Are you okay? Yes. It's all over now. No more Minwan or Suman who made my life miserable. I've finally broken the painful, vicious cycle. I should tell J1 everything. That I'm actually from 10 years in the future. And that I tried to change my fate because I wanted to get revenge. But that all I want now is to live happily ever after with him. Um, I have something, something to tell you, Jiyu. It's important, so please listen carefully. I'm actually... <gasps> no, no. I'm about to get arrested. <laughs> so what am I waiting for? Die, G1. <laughs> Die. Oh. G1. Y'all see that, right? You'll only see her toss over 
Where is he? Look, I am so mad. I am so mad. Like right now, okay, we have a poll going on with everyone, right? Everyone in the community, uh, everyone been saying, okay, who's the worst? Rashta or Suman? People have been saying, oh, you need to continue reading The Remarried Empress because Rashta became even worse, right? And I'm like, okay, you know, Rashta is pretty bad because she kind of did got she got someone to cut off the maid's tongue and here suman is already back because she literally like just unalive her mother-in-law she laughed about her husband being gone and now she's trying to run over jiwon but instead ran over mr yu and ji <sighs> jiwon was finally grasping her happiness like she wants she finally realized like she have her revenge ready now she wants to be with the man who's actually taking care of her and love her but no suman again takes that away and like at this point i feel like suman has to be the reason behind it all like why did like jiwon's dad pass away from cancer you know and why did jiwon receive cancer in her current life right before she went back to the future uh, back in the past you know, like, I feel like Suman did all of that and she's continue to take all of that. So till she is honestly locked up or unalive, she will continue to be a thorn to Jiwon's side. You know, like, I just, I hate Suman so, so much. Like, I hate Rashta. I hate her from right here. I still feel bad because she was born a slave and she was treated like crab and that's why she's you know, she does all these diabolical things. And like Suman, yeah, she has an abusive mom and all this stuff and that's why she is the way she that she is. But man, right now, how Suman is, is just like, I just hate her too, way too much. Way more than I hate Rashida right now. Like, oh my gosh, she's just a piece of crap. All right, guys, that is my rant. I'm sorry, that went a lot longer than I expected. <clears throat> But if you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on what y'all think of this, this episode, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!